my name is Kira. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, yellow. Uh, I like to do fashion, beauty, lifestyle kind of content here on YouTube. Um, today we're doing fashion content. Get into it. Not new here. Welcome back. So nice to see you. You look great. You look fabulous. I'm doing a recent pickup video. This is going to be kind of like varied as well because i have piles of things next to me of course but they're all from like is it like four four different places i have things from the serbia killstar thrift yes style yeah and uh let's just go and get into it let's start with the disturbia stuff because i've shown these a few times but i want to talk a little bit more in depth about the two items today that i kind of just want to talk about let's talk about this belt here hopefully if editing me figures it out, there will be a video right here showing you this on. I am obsessed with this belt. Okay, this is their, I believe this is called the Ore Belt by Disturbia. They used to have another belt that was actually on my wish list for a really long time called the Orbit Belt, which was basically this, but the chains were only one on each side and they were much longer. Um, I rocks heavy with this and you could probably assume why because it has o-rings chains it's black it's like everything I like to wear basically I like this because it actually fits right on my waist perfectly so any dress or any shirts or anything like that that it comes up super high-waisted on me I love to throw this on top of I think it just goes so well and it adds something cool not to mention the chains are actually they're detachable so I could take the chains off and add them to other things if I want to we'll be making sure that I link down everything that I can link in the description so if you want to know where anything is from or if you just want to be able to find it and search it it will be in the description box below please read it <laughs> from Disturbia as well I've already washed these and I'm gonna be honest they're like the black has slightly faded on them I still really like these jeans these are the Beetle jeans from Disturbia. I really like these jeans. Um, I selected these simply because I like the pattern. I actually used to have a pair of striped jeans back in the day, like when I was in high school or whatever, when I thought I was a little fashion blogger. We'll talk about that another time. These just are so fun, and I like the fact that they're pattern pants. Um, pattern pants are great in the sense that they require the, or they don't really require too much additional styling because they speak for themselves they're like statements in and of themselves you could just throw on whatever t-shirt on top or whatever shoes because the most eye-catching part of the outfit is gonna be the pants and that's what i like about these items that i recently got from killstar as well these also were gifted to me <laughs> so um i currently or at least i recently got two t-shirts um i got this shirt this is actually their black I think the black sun tee. This is like a black on black graphic, which I kind of think is cool. Like, I, I don't know exactly how to describe it, uh, why, but it's different. The shirt that I got is this one. I think this is life is called a life is no joke tee or something like that. I just think it's funny. It reminds me of like older cartoons, um, you know, like Tom and Jerry, Popeye, like what channel was that that they all used to come on? I don't remember the channel name, but I remember like watching that like as a kid and that's what this makes me think of, which is probably exactly what they were going for, but taking like a darker spin on it, which I think is fun. So the next, um, the next like section of this is going to be like thrifted items, um, that I've gotten recently that I'm so hype about. <laughs> so, so hype. Oh goodness. Um, these all have a common thing that they're all black. But you should have known that already. One of the first items I kind of want to show, which I guess I didn't really realize it in the store until I got it home, but this is faded a little bit. But this is, um, I found this in the men's section. This is a um, leather jacket, but it's kind of cut in a way that looks like a denim jacket, which I like. Also, all of the pockets are real because I found it in the men's section. Um, it's really cool. I like the collar. I like the whole just the cut of it because it's different. So the next item I got, I put it on a hanger because this is this was easier for me to have in my closet. But um, I'm probably gonna take it off the hanger after this video. It's a scarf, or is I believe it's a scarf. It was over kind of near the scarves in Goodwill. It this I don't. <laughs> it's giving me 
Pirates of the Caribbean. I've never seen that movie, but for some reason it's giving me like very washed ashore like kind of thing. And the fact that this is fully like see-through, this is the equivalent of cheesecloth to be honest. This is not actually going to keep you warm, which is fine. I stay in Florida, so it's not like I'm actually looking for a scarf to give me warmth or anything. This is purely to add dimension. I got this. This is like a bustier. Bustier? I like bustier. That sounds fancy. Look over that bustier kind of top. Um, I was surprised that I was able to find anything like this in the thrift store that like is about my bra size. Um, because this one, of course, hits so many boxes for me. It was a little bit out of my comfort zone in the sense where there's color, but there's spider webs. So it's redeemed by that. Um, I like the cut of this. I think it looks really cool. Um, it fits me, which is really great too. <laughs> like it's in my exact bra size, which I was so surprised about seeing because I'm like, whoa, me? Oh, this was for me. Remember those from like back in the day? I feel like when I was a kid, built-in bras were in like every tank top. And I used to get so upset because like I've always been like smaller chested. And those tank tops would have the biggest like cup holders in them. I could never just like... This is a very, very cozy top. Mm, so nice. This also, um, it's like this, like, it feels like fleece, kind of. Like a fleece shirt. I have um, a shirt that's kind of similar to this, but it's like a turtleneck and it is a lot more fitted. This one's more like a boxy or rectangle kind of shape. Um, the sleeves also aren't like full length sleeves. They're like three, fourth quarter sleeves, which is fine. And I actually really like that it's not a full sleeve because to me, I see this as like a lounging around kind of shirt, like something I could easily throw on when I'm like editing or just like chilling, but I don't want to be in my pajamas because I don't like to sit around in my pajamas all day. I prefer to get dressed even when I'm not going anywhere. It just makes me feel good. This is like a polka dot slip dress. It's not see-through. I, <laughs> this may sound weird, but like I feel like I always see people that do thrift hauls or like talk about like thrifting or showing their thrifted slip dresses I'm like how are yours not see-through because I'll, f I'll see them in the store but a lot of times they're see-through or at least like they're a very thin material because they're meant to be worn to bed they're not meant to actually like wear outside your house so i'm like do you guys wear something underneath y'all do like nude bras or something i don't own a nude bra and i'm not wearing pasties I don't like them. Is this fully black like satin slip dress, much like the previous one. This one is also not see-through at all. Like <laughs> I was so excited. The moment it was like on the end of a rack in the Goodwill and I saw it, I was immediately just like, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Because I've been looking for just a black slip dress, just one that's fully plain, no extra little frills, like you know, just like your normal basic like slip dress but just all black. This one, y'all, if this doesn't scream like, this makes me feel like Elvira, Elvira, something like that. This reminds me of something that she would 100% like wear. This is a fully, <laughs> you'll be able to see them try on portion, but like this is a maxi dress with a 3 4 quarter sleeve. It is fully like body con, like the whole way down. It's got a split right in the front to and a super low v-neck which is everything now the tag says this was originally from forever 21 it's in a size small um this is absolutely gorgeous like the front split and i could totally see just having like a simple belt or something right out of the waist or even not even just it plain is like powerful i was literally i've been on pinterest pinning dresses exactly like this one. I keep seeing them, I keep seeing outfits of them. <sighs> We're seeing this, right? It's a full length maxi satin slip dress with like a cowl neckline. I absolutely adore this. This is so beautiful. Um, funny story about this one. It, the tag actually said it was an extra large. This is not an extra large. This is very easily maybe a size two. And it was in the evening gown section. <laughs> so it wasn't with like casual dresses. It wasn't in the lingerie section where like normally you would see slip dresses and stuff in. It was just with like the prom dresses at the Goodwill. This next item is 
another maxi dress but this one um is more kind of like this gives me like summer but it also reminds me of a dress that i've seen on i don't know what her username might be on instagram anymore but she's a fashion blogger that i've been following and have liked since high school um i think her blog name or lookbook oh my god i'm so strange <laughs> Um, back on lookbook, her username was faint, um, and she only would just wear, like, very flowy, all black looks, but they were, like, layered in, like, cool ways. So, I get a lot of inspiration from that, that's why I like very flowy things, I like maxi dresses, I like skirts that kind of flow out, things that give you movement when you're, like, walking around, or even with my casual outfits, I like to layer, like, textures and different kinds of, like, patterns and stuff like that, and it kind of is inspired by that um but she i've seen posts with dresses that kind of look similar to this this is also fully maxi lane <laughs> originally this is from um h&m but their divided line and then this is a flannel dress but i plan on just wearing it as like a normal flannel this one it says it's from the brand verona and it's in a size small i have no idea where that's from at all <laughs> but it's like this black and white Flannel, which I used to have a flannel kind of like this pattern but it was more of like a actual shirt length and I remember I thrifted it from like the men's section at I mean like years ago I have no idea what happened to that shirt I don't know if I like donated it if I sold it if I gave it to my brother it's like actual pockets and there's like actual actual pockets on the bottom here there's actual pockets and they're deep pockets i didn't realize there was pockets until i think when i came home and washed the clothes and they like turned inside out of course so i saw them i was like oh even better the last thrifted item i kind of want to show are these <laughs> i love them i love platforms in general i just think that they make my legs look great i feel great and especially with like a block heel platform amazing they are like ankle strapped heels i liked the design of them they feel very like casual to me but also kind of remind me of like the platform sandals heels that i've been seeing a lot um i have a few of them pinned to i think a few different boards this is what i'm talking about when i say having a pinterest board is like kind of like a thrifting wish list it gives you an idea of like what elements and stuff you like and i noticed that i liked shoes like these a lot so i keep kind of an eye out when i'm looking and then the last section i'm gonna try to breeze through this because this is another gifted section um i do want to go ahead and just say thank you to yes style for um going ahead and sending these items my way everything that i can link below i will be linking down below you could also use my code uh here to save some money on yes if you do want to shop i always recommend you know reading reviews looking at customer images those are the best because then you can actually get a better idea of what it's gonna look like on you um so yeah that's kind of what i did when looking at these items too just making sure like is it gonna look like the picture because we've all been there we've all been there of like you see a picture you see the picture online and then when it comes in the mail it's completely different and it's not what you thought it was going to be and you're disappointed one of the first items i got like i was mentioning before the dystopia belt was that i realized i have a hole in my closet which was accessories or like belts and stuff like that because like i don't know like i i feel like that's one area that like i just don't think about all the time but i got this belt now um the actual item like picture and stuff come like shows it with like a skirt on yes style you have the option to get both the belt and the skirt but they're kind of done different like separately i just wanted the belt i like this and the reason i actually picked this out was because um i have a very like small waist and my hips are like mm, not that much bigger but they're wider than like my waist is so if i pick a belt more often than not i have to kind of pick what size depending upon like where i want it to actually fit me because a belt will fit on my hips but it won't fit on my waist and a lot of my jeans and stuff are high-waisted so this one is actually like you can put it through on any hole on this belt so this belt can be worn at both my waist and my hips wherever i want it to if it's over bulkier items it'll be able to fit like if i'm wearing a sweater and i'm tucking it in i'll still be able to get a belt around my waist because it can be adjusted to any size it comes with a chain which is also detachable this item is 
a skirt and not just any skirt. I tried these on last night to make sure everything fit. <laughs> so some stuff may not be buttoned up all the way, but that's all why. Um, most of the items that I actually got from YesStyle are just dresses, like, and cardigans. There's, there's not that many bottoms here. This is like the only bottom I actually got, and it's a skirt with like a chain kind of detail. The zipper, I believe, is not, it doesn't lead to anything. It, yeah, it's just a zipper for aesthetic. But there's actual pockets like at the top, which are pretty deep as well. The material kind of reminds me of like work pants. <laughs> and the belt loops are cute. Um, I'm probably not going to use a belt on it because it's very form fitting. Like it's, it's tight. Like, you're gonna see hips, you're gonna see them. <laughs> I like the chain detail on them. I like the interesting kind of like cut on this skirt. I don't know, I, I don't know, I just think it looked really cool in the picture. Um, I would recommend if you have a smaller waist and like bigger hips, I saw another review that also said this, get it a size up. I didn't see that review until after. <laughs> I got this in a size, I, I believe it's a small fits me but I feel like it's a lot tighter than it's actually intended to be so um I would recommend just sizing up if your hips are big this is one I've been seeing the whole trend of wearing like cardigans as tops you have a shirt that is like a cardigan but also could just be worn as a shirt um and I like that one so figured I would kind of give it a try but without a collar because that one has a collar and I like it I I don't know I did kind of when I tried it on the site, tried it as like a top and was like seeing if I was into it. Um, the material's thick enough that like I definitely think you can get away with wearing it as a shirt if you wanted to. And I like that you have so many buttons to even choose how high up you want to go. You want like a little little under boob moment, little side. You know, like what, how how much do you want to give the girls? Okay, so this is actually one item that um, this is probably one of my favorites <laughs> that I got from Yes Style. This is a simple little black, um, kind of like a skater skirt kind of style because it does actually cinch at the waist, like the waist is pretty defined. But I like the little frilly necklines, the bows. It did not come tied, which I didn't realize that like they were tied shoulders um, until it got here. Because in the picture, it just kind of looked like straps. I, I don't know, <laughs> but they're actually like little bow ties. And I find that really cute, very endearing. It gives me like cottage core, but like darker because it's black sided. Uh, I'm gonna wear it, of course, to sit on my couch and probably watch anime or something. But nonetheless, I'm gonna be really, really cute. The next dress is like adorable, but it took me so long to place it up. And I'm still probably gonna have to cut the ribbon in the back. This is like a spaghetti strap um, skater dress. It's got, it's got a bow in the front. The design that has like, I think those are angry squids. No, not squids, octopus. I should know the difference. The design kind of like that black on black graphic tee I was showing you earlier from Killstar. You kind of can't really see until like the light hits it, but it has like a velvet like kind of feel. Um, and in the back, the back is really cute. It has like a lace up thing. The ribbons are insanely long. They give you plenty, girl, like you can, Luna, no! This like cute little, kind of reminiscent of a slip dress, but not really kind of dress. I feel like I've probably seen something so much of this online. Other places, it's just black ribbed material with like white lace kind of detail. There's a little bow at the top. I also feel like this will just be very simple and cute and easy to just throw on with pretty much anything. Um, the material is actually nice, again, not see-through. It's like more of like a thicker kind of ribbed, so it doesn't feel like I'm, I'm ex just exposed or anything like that. It's the absolute last item, but this is the one that I was like the most excited for it to actually arrive. And I can't really tell you why. I just know I was really, really excited for this cardigan. This is more like a maxi uh, kind of length cardigan, I guess you could say. It's it's thicker. It's like very cozy. It's got more of like drop kind of sleeves on it, um, but it kind of cinch at the wrist this is actually only in one size so um i'm norm i'm pretty small and this fits me lengthwise i think maybe like lower shin area so it's a decent length on me um these sleeves also are <laughs> nice and all the way to like my wrist and stuff too and i can also stretch them like over my hands kind of like this cardigan is on me currently 
Um, it has pockets too, and the back has these like little slits, which I love because when you walk, it like flows out and just looks really cool when you're walking. Movement. It's all about the movement when you're walking. Um, again, I do want to thank YesStyle, I want to thank Killstar and Serbia as well for sending me items. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do appreciate y'all for coming and watching. If you want to see more of me or more content by me, my links to all my social media accounts will be linked down below in the description. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, or give me a dislike if you didn't enjoy. Either way, it helps me because engagement. So, <laughs> in the meantime, between time, I hope to see y'all soon somewhere on the internet, and I hope you have a great day. You. Take care.